here the question is rajesh and ravi are partners in a firm sharing profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 the old ratio is given the new ratio is given then we have to find out the hidden goodwill in this question it is written that raman the important point of the question raman is unable to bring in any cash for goodwill so it is decided to value the goodwill on the basis of raman share in the profits and capital contribution by the firm hence working notes note 1 old ratio of rajesh is to ravi is equal to 3 is to 2 new ratio of rajesh is to ravi is to raman that is 5 is to 3 is to 2 sacrificing ratio is equal to old ratio minus new ratio rajesh's sacrifice that is 3 by 5 minus 5 by 10 that is equal to lcm 10 3 to the 6 minus 5 that is 1 by 10 then ravi's sacrifice that is 2 by 5 minus 3 by 10 that is equal to 4 minus 3 upon 10 that is 1 by 10 therefore the sacrificing ratio of rajesh is to ravi is equal to 1 is to 1 note 2 calculation of hidden goodwill goodwill is not given here and good will be, will be valued in, on the basis of a Raman's share of a capital contribution that is equal to total capital of the firm on the basis of a Raman's capital. Raman is contributing 60,000 for a 210 share. Hence, reverse the ratio to find out 10 by 2 that is 80,000. Now, less actual capital of all partners including profit and revaluation. First, calculate the profit in revaluation rough that is coming 3650 and the capital of Rajesh is rupees 29,000, that of Ravi is rupees 15,000, and that of the new partner Raman is rupees 16,000 plus the revaluation profit is rupees 3650. The total is rupees 63,650. If any general reserve or profit reserve is there in the liability side, this will be also added and deducted from the expected capital. Likewise, any advertisement, suspense account, goodwill, patent stability enough is given in the asset side, that is also to be deducted from this actual capital totaling and deducted from the total expected capital. Now the goodwill of the firm is rupees 16,350, the difference. Now, note 3, Raman's share of a goodwill, it is rupees 16,350 multiplied by Raman's profit share that is uh, multiplied by 2 by 10 that is equal to rupees 3270 and journal entry for treatment of goodwill if Raman does not bring his share of goodwill in cash. That is Raman's capital account debited rupees 3270 to Rajesh's capital account that is rupees 1635 and to Ravi's capital account rupees 1635. You have old ratio 3 is to 2, you have new ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2, but you have calculated it, calculated the sacrificing ratio. Hence, this will be done in sacrificing ratio that is 1 is to 1. Being entry for goodwill passed in sacrificing ratio as Raman does not bring his share of goodwill in cash. Then your revaluation account. Hence, after this revaluation account is a format is formed. The first one is to stock 750 rupees. That is a part of adjustment. Stock to be depreciated by 5%. Then 5% of 15,000 that is rupees 750 rupees. To provision for doubtful debts to be 100, it is adjustment A part, B part, provision for doubtful debts is to be 500, already provision appearing in the books is rupees 400, increase in liability rupees 100, to provision for stock for doubtful debts rupees 100. Next one is a, to furniture 500 because it is written in the C part of the adjustment furniture to depreciate by 10 percent hence furniture is given to us at 5000 
टेन परसेंटेज रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड देन बाय बिल्डिंग फोर्टी थाउजेंड बिल्डिंग इज ऑलरेडी अपीयरिंग इन द बुक्स एट थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड इनक्रीज इन द वैल्यू ऑफ बिल्डिंग बाय फाइव थाउजेंड बाय बिल्डिंग फाइव थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट वन इज टोटलिंग ऑफ द रिवाल्यूशन अकाउंट क्रेडिट साइड इज हैविंग हायर वैल्यू दैट इज फाइव थाउजेंड टेक इट टू द डेबिट साइड एंड फाइंड आउट द डिफरेन्स आफ्टर डिडक्टिंग रुपीज थर्टीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी फ्रम रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड यू विल बी गेटिंग रुपीज थ्री सिक्स फाइव जीरो इट विल बी टू कैपिटल अकाउंट्स हाइफ एंड रिवाल्यूशन प्रॉफिट ट्रांसफर्ड इन ओल्ड रेसियो ऑफ थ्री टू टू देन राजेश विल बी गेटिंग थ्री फिफ्थ ऑफ दिस दैट इज रुपीज टू वन नाइन जीरो एंड रवि विल बी गेटिंग टू फिफ्थ ऑफ दिस दैट इज रुपीज वन फोर सिक्स जीरो देन युअर कैपिटल अकाउंट ड्रॉ प्रॉपर कैपिटल अकाउंट फॉर मंड फॉर राजेश रवि एंड रावन देन फर्स्ट इज योर बाय बैलेंस ब्रॉड डाउन फॉर कैपिटल बैलेंस फॉर राजेश इट इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी नाइन थाउजेंड फॉर रवि इट इज फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड एंड हिज टू देन गुड विल ट्रीटमेंट इट इज रमन कैपिटल अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू राजेश एंड रवि इन राजेश एंड रविज लेजर हेन्स इट इज रमन कैपिटल अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू राजेश कैपिटल अकाउंट टू रविज कैपिटल अकाउंट इट इज जस्ट लाइक इन केस ऑफ अ राजेश एंड रविज लेजर कैपिटल लेजर इट इज बाय रमन कैपिटल अकाउंट इन केस ऑफ राजेश रुपीज वन थ्री टू फाइव इन केस ऑफ रवि इट इज वन सिक्स थ्री फाइव इन केस ऑफ रमन लेजर कैपिटल अकाउंट और कैपिटल लेजर इट इज रमन कैपिटल इन रमन कैपिटल कलम इट विल बी राजेश कैपिटल अकाउंट इट इज टू रविज कैपिटल अकाउंट दैट इज रुपीज वन सिक्स थ्री फाइव इच देन नेक्स्ट वन इज बाय कैश अकाउंट He is contributing rupees sixteen thousand, and fortunately we have cash in the asset side of the balance sheet. We can add this sixteen thousand to that. That is rupees two thousand. Now he is bringing in sixteen thousand. Then is your revaluation profit for a Rajesh rupees two one nine zero for Ravi it is rupees one four six zero. Then total the credit side we have higher balances. Take it to the debit side, and the difference. For Ravi and totaling is same. That is rupees three to eight to five to balance carried down. And for Ravi, the totaling is rupees eighteen zero nine five and difference is rupees eighteen zero nine five. And the credit balance that is two balance CD rupees twelve thousand seven hundred thirty. Then uh, because the totaling is rupees sixteen thousand out of that, this uh, Rajesh's capital and Ravi's capital. For goodwill premium is he deducted because he is not paying in. If you would have it is mentioned that it will be transferred to current account, then to, in the debit side nothing will be there. In the credit side, the red ink entry by Raman's current account will be rupees one six three five and for Ravi rupees one six three five. Then is your balance sheet draw proper format of the balance sheet as at thirty first March two thousand seventeen. Then first start from the asset side. Cash two thousand hundred is there now. He brings in Raman brings in rupees twelve thousand, sixteen thousand. The total cash is rupees eighteen thousand. Stock rupees fourteen thousand two hundred fifty, fifteen thousand minus rupees seven hundred fifty. That is fourteen thousand two hundred fifty. Then prepaid insurance rupees fifteen hundred already given in the question. Note it down. Then debtors rupees nine thousand four hundred less new provision for doubtful debts rupees five hundred. It is now now not four hundred. It is five hundred. The totaling is eight thousand nine hundred. Then machinery rupees nine thousand. It is same old figure. Then building rupees thirty five thousand forty thousand. New revalued value is will be there. Old value is thirty five. Thousand and new revalued value is forty thousand. The adjustment part C. Then furniture five thousand less ten percent. It is same part C. Furniture is valued ten percent less than the book value. Then your liability side creditors rupees thirty eight thousand five hundred same value. Rent outstanding rupees four thousand. Capital accounts that is Rajesh rupees thirty two thousand eight hundred twenty five, Ravi rupees eighteen thousand zero nine five, Raman rupees twelve thousand seven hundred thirty. Totaling of the balance sheet is rupee capital accounts is rupees sixty three thousand six hundred.
fifty. Now total the total both the sides. If it is tallying, this is fine and correct. That is rupees one lakh six thousand one hundred fifty. Tallying with your answer. 